Now we're back in our lab environment again and we want to use an external RADIUS server for authentication purposes when logging into Router 4 from Router 2. We have the same essential setup in our lab. You see we have our console, we have our Router 4 window and our Router 2 window which is in the background. We'll just do a quick review, show, running configuration. And here, the no AAA new model tells you that there's nothing being used as far as AAA functions. So now let's ping, make sure it's available, 10.4.4.4. And it's available. So now we can do 10.4.4.4. And it's simply asking us for the line password. Of course, we can put in our enable password. And we have full access to the system. But we want to be able to enact radius as a function. So we actually have defined our whole configuration for radius here. You know, some of the syntax is similar to TACX, but obviously using the radius keyword. So we'll start with AAA new model. And then, because if you recall, the authorization, authentication, and accounting functions are combined with radius, we could actually do a number of different things here, but we're actually just going to do authentication. So let's put these first two commands into router for. Copy. Configure terminal. Paste. This is why Notepad is just so helpful. Now we want to go back and talk a little bit since we have our AAA commands here. Now we actually want to talk about our RADIUS server configurations. RADIUS server, it's identifying the same one we had before for TACAX. But one of the differences here is actually the ports that are being used. Notice here we have port 1812 and 1813. And these are the designated defaults in the standard. But if you recall, there were other ports that were used previously that are allowed for backward compatibility. And then, of course, we have our key for being able to take care of the password function. So we'll go ahead and put those in. It's accepted both of these without a problem. And again, now we want to apply this to our terminal lines. Remember, we only have one account that's defined here in the local database. So we want to be able to make sure that we're using one of the names defined in the RADIUS database. So what we want to do now is we actually want to put a debug using radius. You can see all these messages are now turned on. Well, this one is and some of them are off. So now we go back to router 2. Now notice now it's asking for a username. We go over here. Notice here it's using get user and it's saying what the packet content should be. So we're going to use radius user this time. Notice now it's asking for the password which we're just going to use test again. Now notice it let us in with no real privilege level. Look at all these messages. It says what the username is, terminal it's being allocated to, the address of the NAS. So all of this is saying that everything has successfully been configured. And you can also tell because, again, I defined this in the RADIUS database, but not in the local user database. And then we can go back in and use our enable password to get to the higher functions. And that's pretty much all there is just to this simplified RADIUS server configuration. I think of the two, I'd recommend TACX because of the security, the connection-oriented methodology, and just some other basic things there. I think it's just a better protocol for this.